Hello and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. As you can see, Americans are eating healthy again and are seeking out stores where you can buy healthy, healthy foods. Or they're not. They're buying, they're going to stores where they can buy a bunch of crap. Dollar Generals are popping up all over America. In every rural area, you drive past a location and two months later there's a Dollar General there. The mom pa stores, grocery corners, grocery stores are all gone and being replaced by the Dollar General. Unfortunately, you cannot buy fresh vegetables. You can buy milk, eggs, some frozen stuff, packaged stuff, lots of processed food, and a lot of other junk. The thing I like about them is there's their small footprint versus the big box stores. I think that's going to be an advantage as we become more energy conscious. But that doesn't shouldn't stop us from buying the stock. Let's take a look and see what the fundamentals and the technicals look like for Dollar General. It might be a stock that you want to invest in. And I'll tell you a little hint. Dollar General is at a bargain price. And it's going to go down a little further. And then it's going to go up. Now that's not a, a big hint. Because if stocks go down, they eventually go up. But for the next few days... Dollar General is going to take a, um, a little dip and then I think it returned to its former levels. Let's see. Let's see if I can prove that or at least back it up. According to the investor relations, Dollar General will be reporting on May 27th. Currently, the price is 204.02. It's been in business for 80 years. I didn't know that. It operates 17,000 stores. 46 states, same store sale growth, that's good. There's your earnings and some news. Looking at the FinViz chart, and because we're a swing trader, we like to capture these swings. Swing up, swing down, swing up, swing down, maybe swing up, swing down, swing up, swing down, swing up. We like that one. And then it's been swinging down. Now, I don't want to bet against this one. Target price, according to FinViz, is $233. dollars 203 it's way up there, if you believe the analysts. It is profitable. It looks like to be profitable in the future. It does pay a dividend. Very good margin cap. And let's see if it try, trades in enough volume. Plenty enough volume. Optional and shortable. We can go both ways. And it has a buy rating. And a positive book value. So if you break the company out, but out there might be some left over yet. There's been two downgrades. That doesn't look good. It looks good for going down for a little bit. And that was May 12th, about a week ago. And they're putting it at 207. You know, my our Aldi, Aldi store, as well, you can order online and they bring it out to the curb. And I don't think Dollar General has done that yet. They're still relying on in-person shopping. be interesting to look to see what the trends that is for Dollar General. And without going into a lot of detail, you look the, for, the, for the charts to go up. The revenue, gross profit, we want those, those to go up. Income, we want the net income to go increasing, and, and it is. This is, all, this is a very good, good um, stock. And as we change, as America changes, and as America changes its shopping habits, I do think Dollar General is going to be a player. Now, not a, it doesn't, if we go to all online, I'm not sure Dollar General is going to play as a big a part as that. For now, those stores keep coming and growing and multiplying. Let's see what, what Tip Ranks has to say. 230 for Tip Ranks and a strong buy. Tip ranks as an outperform ranking of nine. Love it. Hedge fund activity decreased. Don't like that. Technicals and fundamentals. I agree. Revenues and doesn't seem too bad. These are fluctuating. Positive PE, so it's profitable. So the earnings coming up. It topped its earnings before. Lots of news articles here. The masks are off. Will Dollar General still be strong? It was strong in 2020 will be strong since the masks come off and people can shop anywhere. They were strong during the pandemic, but I'm guessing they will. No recent news here that has any impact. Let's draw a fib. And this is why I like the zigzag. Zigzag 
allows you to easily see the, the strong trends. Now let's take a look at and see what we see. It's a zigzag. It's a perfect indicator. It knows exactly what it's doing. It always knows to be able to pick the highs and the lows. And it does that by looking in the future. But right now it thinks the it thinks it knows what it's doing and it's going down. And it doesn't seem to the candle does not seem to be any indication that that it's going to go up. I like that when I do a reversal play, I like to, especially if going long, I'd like to have the zigzag not know what it's doing. Now let's see here. We got a stochastic crossover here, which indicates that it might go up. RSI is below the 30, but but it's not coming around. Normally we wait for it to come around, and we also wait for the stochastic to come around. And the MACD is still going down. If we ever get a crossover there, we'd love it. So none of these indicators that we use, use I use this to the MACD, the MACD, the stochastics, RSI, and the RSI. Now, this is TradingView. It's free. You can get all these indicators for free. It's worthwhile playing with it. Now, no MACD, no RSI yet, and no stochastic RSI. That's a stochastic, and this is RSI. Now, is based on the fib, is the price going to get there or there first? Now, I believe it's going to get here first. 2, 190, about 200. And I think we should wait to get these these signals. So this Dollar General, I would put a, an alert out at the 200 level. And when it reaches that, take another look. This is one that you want to go ahead and buy based on the fact that all the analysts that are following this think it's a very strong company and it's, a, and it's a buy. But yet, it's going down. So, it's still early. But I think within a week, within this week, especially I, it looks like the stock market is going down for a couple of days. I believe that this is worthwhile taking a look at and putting an alert at 200. And when it reaches there, make a decision. Alert at 200. Did you know that Google Sheets, a spreadsheet program, allows you to access financial information and you can do with the price and then each day you can look at that Google Sheet to see if it reaches your level. Also, you can set alert. Most broker packages allow you to do simple alerts as too, with price alerts. So this is an easy thing to do. Getting a little more complex here. This is a options pricing screen in interactive brokers for Dollar General. And it's currently trading at 202.46, which is a $3 drop. And these are the options, the calls and the puts. I'm not going to go into no detail on, on this, but you can buy a call. And that means your, your stock, you want the stock to go up and you can buy a put. And that means the stocks will come down. Or you can do the opposite anyway. And you can do spreads and all kinds of other uh, fantastic things. But I want to use it to, to predict the move of the market. And it's rough. And I want to go to June 28th, excuse me, June 18th, and we are 203, 202, 202. So we find the closest one, that's 200, and we look at the last price. Here's a spread here. So we'll take the highest number, 830, and here's a spread for the put, 580. 830 and 580. So what you do is you take to find the, the closest strike price. To where it's trading at which is it's trading at 202.43 and you take and look at the ask 840 and 570 it just it just changed a minute and you remember that and you go over to your spreadsheet this is what it was a few minutes ago make it to 840 and 570 it really shouldn't make a lot of difference and the expected move is about two dollars and thirty cents either way up or down for this stock and the secret calculation is, is here, and it's based on the current price. And this is good enough, 250, 260, 235, either way. And if you did that, it's saying a new a stop loss, a short, is 206, but we're looking at this number, 201, because we think it's going to go down a little bit. 201.77, let's go to our chart again. 201 is right about there. So. I'm thinking it'll come down to here. 201.77, 201. 
let's just say 201. Will you have to again again ask, will it come down here first or go up here first or here? Okay, let me summarize. We got a company that's catering to the shopper that needs to pick a few items up, mostly dry goods, no fruit and vegetables because it doesn't want to waste anything. For vegetables go to waste if you don't sell them. 204, 12. We've seen that um, it's trading a little higher. The gram number says if you break the company apart, it still has some value. So this company is a value stock. Profitable. We like all that. Buy rating. According to Finviz, earnings is fairly soon. But they look to be good. I have no reason to think that they're not going to be good. The stock market might, might be thinking it's going to be bad. But tip ranks rates it very highly. And if you do some calculations, we get expected move of about 235 or 250. Doesn't say which way. If you're doing options, try to take your strike price, your short strike price, if you're selling them at two, above 206, that the, the stock will stay below 206. And if you think it's going to go up, try to find an option spread that says it'll be higher than 201 in about 30 days, June 18th. Strike price is here. If you think it's going to go even up, and if you want to base your strike prices on a 5% profit, you set it to 193 as a take profit or 208 as a stop loss. That's assuming you're going to go short. And what I'm saying is I'll go short for a little while and then go up. I'm not really going short, but when it hits, when it goes down $2.35 or $2 more than $2.35, I might look to buy. I might look to buy. I'm not going short. If you want to go short, that's up to you. Do your own due diligence. Make your own decisions. What do you think about Dollar General? Going up, going down. I think it's going to go down before it goes up. Please put your comments and tell me what you think about Dollar General in the comments below. Please like and subscribe. It does help my channel get more views. So please like and subscribe if you can. And let's have some fun. Happy trading. I'm going to be in a rough few days, the first day, few days. Catch you on the flip. Dollar General, go down before it goes up.